Most of us join the Air Force because we want to make a difference in the world. I think that having this Holocaust Remembrance event, it's a testament to the fact that I am a part of something greater than myself. I was very inspired by Carla's story. She was very young when she joined the Dutch Resistance. She just, she just did it without a question. I was born and raised in Amsterdam. The official newspapers from the Nazi government was only news from the Nazis. We typed out usually one sheet, passed them out, and of course it was a rather dangerous business to do that. When I met Carla, I realized that this was real for her. This was her existence. We heard through the underground. It was really amazing for me to hear Carla speak to us today. Carla was very courageous during the Holocaust by helping save people's lives, but she is also very courageous now. I know that it hurts her, and she doesn't want to um, have to remember what she went through in the Holocaust. She really wants to help us understand what we can do to respect others and to prevent injustice. I keep going back to the word empathy. What is it like when everyone around you, every third person is like taken away? The power of our Holocaust unit is that it connects to every kid. It doesn't matter if they're my brightest, hardest working student to my kid who struggles just to do school. Our kids are kinder to each other afterwards. I first came across the teaching trunk when I attended the Washington Library Conference. At that time, our budgets were very low, and so I figured if we can afford it one of these years, we'll get it. And then, of course, she told me it was free. So when I got back to school, I couldn't wait to see Pia. I immediately ordered the teaching trunk for that year, and then every year since then. The message behind my painting is that I can make a difference. I can prevent the darkness, even just as an individual. Holocaust education is important so that people realize what we did to other people. People that deny the Holocaust don't want to accept that reality. Do you believe that the risk of being in the resistance was worth the reward for being in it? Oh, absolutely. And uh, you know, it's, it's so interesting. People ask me why I did it. Well, I, the only answer I can say, I could help and I helped. There's injustice in our school. There's people who get bullied. There's people who get picked on. And so even if it's a small act, if I can do something to prevent injustice, it will make a difference in the world. Carla and the other survivors who are telling their stories are encouraging us to get out there and walk the walk every day.